This is a story that got swept under the carpet. We have to remember a million people died in a hundred days. This is going to be the first big move about Rwanda. I knew that somehow I, I had to make this film. Hutus and Tutsi were living together forever. Assistant Secretary, the rebel forces, are they Tutu or Hutsi? Hutu and Tutsi. Which ones are the good guys? Can you imagine in 94 when you were being asked to cut that now, move on. You are you and you are you. We need to and choose, because if you don't choose, you're going to get shot. If you want to help, uh, give him a machete. You don't waste bullets on cockroach traitors. The particularity of the 94 genocide is that there was a trained militia who were ready to, once for all, get rid of all Tutsis. Hutus here, Tutsis there. Now. The understanding that it was pervasive all over the country is insane. I was interested in trying to explain the whole political background around a genocide. I was not interested in doing a sort of a black Schindler list. I play Captain Augustin Muganza, who is a soldier, a married man, uh, has kids. Augustin is the storyline you kind of follow throughout the film. I play Honoré Boutera. He's a, uh, a journalist. He works for the Hutu extremist. Augustin and Honoré are two brothers that love each other dearly, but they are forced apart by their opinions and their politics. Are you talking about a coup? Augustin, this is war. In this movie, I'm playing Jeanne, so this is the wife of Augustin. In 94, Augustin had asked his brother to take care of his family, and he never saw his family again. I'm playing the part of a woman called Martine Kamanza, who is the girlfriend to the lead character, Augusta. As he's discovering himself, she's also beginning to try to come to terms with the events that happened to her. This is a very tragic, almost Shakespearean situation, you know, this uh, being torn between the love uh, and, and the hate. Rwanda is beautiful. They say that God built it, and this is where he comes to sleep. It was not the easiest choice to, to shoot there, but I, I couldn't imagine uh, shooting this film anywhere else. Action. It was not an easy situation sometimes for, for some of the people working with us. Sometimes, for me, it's hard, because I'm an artist. After that, and I can't remember, oh, it's a movie. I understood every character in that script because I've lived it. I have to preserve myself, I know. I have to take distance because I'm not talking about a story so far from me. I wanted to, to show how it was about real people. We now present you the Kigali premiere of Sometimes in April. Thank you very much. It was always important that I had the trust of the people over there and that they felt I was telling their story. This movie is going to change our behavior. Oh, many, 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 many. We have to tell the story for the next generation. I'm proud that it's been brought to the surface, you know. As human beings, why should we care what happens on the other side of the world? Well, that's exactly why we should care, because we are human beings. It's our race.